Have you ever seen a blood gas kind of like this? Those kind of blood gases always used to confuse me. I always felt like understanding acute respiratory issues or acute metabolic issues made sense when interpreting a blood gas, but when you're caring for babies who are more chronic, have chronic lung disease, I had a harder time understanding what I was looking at. Hey, I'm Amanda. I'm a neonatal clinical nurse specialist. I've been a NICU nurse for 16 years and I want to help you learn more about being a NICU nurse and help you be the best NICU nurse you can possibly be. So what do we see when we have babies with chronic lung disease and we're getting their blood gas, we're interpreting their blood gas. So you can see that when they have this kind of chronic hypercarbia or this chronic elevated carbon dioxide, because with babies with respiratory distress syndrome, we allow permissive hypercapnia. But with that, you can think about carbon dioxide as an acid and as an acid, it pulls the pH down. And the body is always gonna try and compensate. It's always gonna have some level of homeostasis. It wants to keep everything at balance. And so what happens is we see that the kidneys will hold on to bicarbonate. And that's what we see here is this really elevated bicarbonate level. Now, when we have a really high CO2, that's kind of bringing our pH down a little bit, almost to within the normal range. It pulls it down. And then once we improve our ventilation, you see the actual effect of that prolonged retaining of bicarbonate that is happening. That excessive amount of buffer is gonna pull our pH up and cause alkalosis. So what can we do? The other day I was talking to one of my nurses and she was asking me about Diamox. What is Diamox? What is this type of diuretic and why do we use it? Well, it's for these kind of cases like metabolic alkalosis in babies who are retaining their carbon dioxide for a long time and therefore their bicarbonate is elevated for a long time, putting them in the state of metabolic alkalosis. Let me know if that was helpful. If you want to talk more about different types of diuretics, make sure to follow me for more NICU education.